Hi everyone, today I worked on building a voice-based HR assistant that can call candidates and collect their details. Like the intention is to replace the manual HR calls which HRs will call profiles, right? So let we, I just wanted to replace that with the voice assistant. So I created a small POC to test this idea. There are still a lot to improve on it uh, to make it work real time. And right now it's working if you think in the point of a POC. And there are a lot to improve like the LRM response, text to speech, output from 11 labs, all these, there is some latency in all these, which we need to improve. But uh, the, as part of the POC, it's working fine and I would like to demo you that and how I've done. Coming to the architecture, I have used OpenAI Whisper to convert the speech to text and I've used 11 labs to convert the text to speech. These are the two things and along with this I have used Langgraph for creating the agent here, the voice agent. So here is a simple architecture, user will give the input, the first speech to text is done by the OpenAI Whisper model, then the text information is sent to this Langgraph agent and then the Langgraph agent will give, return the output as a text and that text is again converted into the audio using this 11 labs. So inside the Langgraph we have four nodes, the first one is a greet node which will greet the user by asking uh, are you looking for a job change in the data engineering role and if the user says yes then it will first gather the personal information like the, the person name, the person email id, the person phone number and all and then it will ask for the technical details. How does it ask for the technical details? So here I have a .txt file inside which I have mentioned the technical details which I need. So for the DE, data engineering basic skills like Python, SQL, PySpark and AWS these skills and for orchestration these skills. These are the skills which I am giving to my Langgraph agent to consider these and ask uh, whether the user has the experience in these skills and how much he rate himself in each of this text tag. So that's it and then at the end it, it greets thank you we'll come back again once your profile is shortlisted. So now let's go and see the demo. So let me run this code. So once I trigger the code. Hello, I'm an HR agent. Are you currently looking for a job change in a data engineering role? Yes, I'm looking for a job change. Certainly. Could you please provide me with your good name, email address and phone number? Thank you. My name is Praveen Reddy. My email address is pravinreddyc at gmail.com. My phone number is 7675860617. One, do you have experience with data engineering basics, specifically Python, SQL, and PySpark? How would you rate yourself in these technologies on a scale from one to 10? And is there any additional explanation or context you'd like to provide regarding your experience? I have very good experience in Python, SQL and PySpark. I have very extensively worked in all these three and I rate myself 8 out of 10 and I have been working on this from the past 6 years and I have done a very good job in this three tech stack. 2. Have you worked with AWS cloud technologies including Glue, Redshift, Athena, S3 and Lambda? On a scale from 1 to 10, how would you rate your proficiency in these tools and do you have any further insights or explanations to share about your experience with them? Yes, I have used all this tech stack. I have used Glue for ETL, Redshift for my target, Athena for querying my source and S3 for storing my data lake uh, files and Lambda I haven't worked much. Except Lambda all other I rate 8 of 10 and in Lambda I rate 2 out of 10. 3. Are you familiar with orchestration tools, particularly Airflow? Please rate your experience with Airflow from 1 to 10 and feel free to include any additional information or explanations about how you have used it in your work. Yes, I have been using Airflow from last four years and we use Airflow in our previous project to orchestrate all our uh, ETLs. So I rate myself 8 out of 10 in Airflow as well and I did an excellent job in Airflow. Thank you for your time. We appreciate your interest and we'll be reaching out to you soon with the next steps. Have a great day. Goodbye. Thank you. Have a great day. So this is how my voice agent has been working. So let me clear all these logs and let me run my Streamlit app so that I can display all those, whatever the information which I have gathered here. If I scroll this down, all this information which I have gathered from the user. If you see for Lambda, where is Lambda? I just gave two I, and for all I just rated eight. So it got two and I want to display that in my UI. So I just use Streamlit to display that in the UI. So let me run my Streamlit app. See, I got all these details displayed in my UI. That's it. I did not mention the username, phone number and all, which I, I should have mentioned as well. That's it. So this is how it. Now let's go and dive into the code and how I have implemented this code. So now if you come to the code, I've just imported the required libraries. That's it. 
and I'm getting the 11 laps uh, variable from this 11 lap class by setting an environment of variables. The 11 laps API key and my uh, open API key are there in this .env file. That's it. I'm just uh, creating an LLM using chart open AI from Langchain. Langchain open AI here. That's it. So I have few helper methods. Okay, let me explain you those helper methods. Now if you see generate audio. Here if you see I'm using this 11 laps variable which I have created above. Dot text to speech dot convert using the text. The text passed in this method. And using the model. The model name is this one by default. And the voice ID and the output format. And play off that audio. Once it is converted into audio. I'm just playing it using this play method from 11 laps only. From 11 laps import play. This is one helper method to play the audio. So now when the user wants to uh, in say something, we have to record that, right? That I'm using this, using this SD, SD nothing but sound device, uh, Python module. Using the sound device, I'm recording that SD dot record of how much time the user has to speak that here I'm passing here. Right now I'm passing by default as 10 seconds um, and uh, the argument will be passed to this particular method, wherever it is called in case if, if we think that the user speaks for the longer time. And then I'm converting that recording into a buffer and then record uh, returning that buffer. That's it. This is just to record the user input. Now there is another method using which we are extracting the text from the audio. So once the user speaks, we have to extract the text from that audio and pass that text to the uh, agent, right? So that I'm using this uh, open AI whisper, open AI client, client dot audio dot transcript dot create using this whisper model. That's it. This transcription dot text will return me the text of that specific audio. That's it. So these are the few helper methods which I have and you know in Langraph we create a state class and we create declare the variables right all the messages will be appended to this message variable what all the queries agent as as will be appended to this agent uh, queries and what all the user details like the mobile number the phone number which uh, will be asked by our second node will be updated in this variable and all the text tag details as a json format or a dictionary format will be appended in this and this input we are writing into this particular json file dot json file here. So that's it. So this is the state variables in uh, Langraph. If you are not sure of the Langraph, you can watch my Langraph playlist. And now we have this uh, speak and listen method, which is using two of the helper methods above. One is the record user input and then is generate audio. That both are being used inside this speech uh, and listen. So uh, first it will speak. So first the agent will speak, uh, generate audio. The agent response will be sent to this method, which we saw above. Here the agent uh, response will will be played using the 11 laps and then again once uh, once the agent stops speaking then we have to record the user input right so that we are using this re using this record user input which we have seen above using this SD sound device uh, from Python and then that's it and now we are extracting the text so this is a speak and listen helper method which is using few of the other helper methods so now if you come here comes the nodes the next set of methods are the nodes so now let's go down and if you see this is this is the piece of code where the code starts i am creating uh, i am creating a graph by calling this particular method and i am then compiling the graph and while triggering i am just triggering it with the empty messages i am not giving any empty message because the first input has to come from the agent so what is the first input from the agent which comes from this greet node because this is the first node after greet node gather personal information after gather personal information gather user text tag details and then greet him goodbye. These are the four nodes uh, we are using the edges to create the graph of, of those four that's it and now if you look into the node one by one firstly if you go to the greet node see in this greet node we are just saying you are an HR agent inform that you are an HR agent greet the user asking if they are looking for a job change in the data engineering role that's it and that is a prompt and we are triggering the LLM and LLM will give us some response like hey I am a HR agent I want to know if you are looking for a job change something like that the unique text every time that's the purpose we are using LLM or else if you want to give the same text then we don't need the LLM we can just pass the standard text which we want to give to the speech, speech and uh, speak and listen then it will play the same and it will record that response the, the user response is a uh, Again converted into a text uh, inside this method by calling the extract text method, right? Which we saw extract text method using this open AI whisper model. So now that information we are updating in the messages variable in the state. That's it. So that's the greet node. So once we greet, user will say whether he is looking for a job change or not. If user says yes, that response has been updated in these messages. So once this is done and once the user says yes, 
then we are going to the next node then gather personal information here we are again using the same prompt and again we are calling the llm and here we are uh, saying and we are here we are uh, again we are using the same methods to record what the user wants to speak and then we we convert that into a text and using that text we are extracting the information like the full name email address and all and updating into this particular class here as we want the output or of only the full name email address and phone number so i want the output only in the structured format right so i'm using this particular user details class here if we come to this user details here i this three the information which we are trying to fetch that's the purpose of the second node that's it it is fetching all this information and now this is the third node inside which we are doing the major work here if you see we are uh, reading the input from from the text file inside this method get text stack this get text stat is reading this tech required dot txt here we have given all the text uh, tech uh, uh, technologies required and then uh, we are passing those information so this particular get text stack is being called first and uh, the tech required the cloud tech required the orchestration tech required all this information will be stored in these variables and those information we are passing to this the prompt and here we are saying please do frame a question for the technologies three different questions and we are looping the three questions and asking one by one so all these questions which the llm gives will be stored in this questions variable and then uh, we are iterating in, and then calling the speak and listen helper function which we have and if you see here as it the user speaks for the longer time we are giving a 20 seconds duration here and each question is asked the response has been recorded and the response is again converted into the text inside this speak and listen method if you see one more time i know we already saw but just for one more time first the user generate audio the agent speaks the user response is recorded and that is converted into the text that's it now that user response whatever the user speak user says like yes i have worked in so and so technologies and i rate myself uh, so and so that information is again being extracted using this particular class text tag details list what is this text tag details it has one variable called items and it is in using this particular class again inside which it is using the text tag name the rating and the explanation that's how we are creating a json right the items and inside which text tag python how much rating any explanation the user gives similarly for sql all the text tags that's it if in our video we gave eight for all and except for lambda for lambda we said i haven't worked much on lambda that's it so this is how we are creating the next node and then in the, at the end we are just using the greet node and the in the first node and the last node why we are using the llm is true because we don't want to give a standard text every time while greeting that's the purpose of having the llm that's it so these are the four nodes we created uh, you, using this lang graph and we are executing them uh, here and while invoking we are just invoking with the plain messages that's it because the first input has to come from the agent that's it thank you so much for watching